Hi, welcome back to Engineering Drawing. I am Dr. Vasu. Hope you are enjoying the lectures on uh, Engineering Drawing. If you want to learn this and many more interesting topics, please do subscribe this channel. If you like this video, please hit the like button. That will keep me motivated to create more such videos in the future. Now, let's jump into the topic and uh, see the diagonal scales. So here, we are asked to construct a diagonal scale of RF is given, 1 by 4000, to show meters on it and long enough to measure maximum length is given. So 400 meters is the maximum length. Let us see how to do it. So RF is taken, maximum length, and RF into maximum length gives length of the scale. So because this is in meters, into 100 gives centimeters. Simplifying, you get 10 centimeters here. So we have taken the 10 centimeter long line and constructed a rectangle to show it as a scale. Dividing this into four equal parts, we, this is representing entire length representing 400 meters. Each division represents 100 meters. So we mark this as 0, 100 like this. So these units are in meters. So here this left side division also is 100 meters. Divide this into 10 equal parts. Each division represents 10 meters. Okay. So 10, 20, 30, 50, 100, like this. Meters are indicated on the left side. Now, we have to show meters also on this, right? So far, this is a plane scale. We are able to show hundreds of meters and tens of meters. And we want single meter also. How? Let's take a, a vertical line here, right? And vertical lines. and. Uh, I want to show one meter. That is, the, I want, we want to divide this uh, 10 meters into 10 parts. That is one meter. So we have taken 10 divisions here and uh, draw a horizontal line here and uh, mark this point, first division here in the top and uh, join this point with uh, zero, right? Well, first one is uh, joined with uh, zero, second with one like this. That means the length here in, is, uh, can be divided into 10 equal parts and we get one tenth of this length. This is 10 meters. And uh, here this uh, at one first point, if you see this, this is one meter, one tenth of this one. So we are able to get one meter also. Now let us show 256 meters on this scale. How? 200, right? We take 200 here. 200 meters is available readily. And 56, we mark 50 here. From here, you move on to sixth point, right? Sixth point here. And that gives from here, you draw an extension line and show the dimensioning line here. This is 256 meters. This represents 256 meters. So like this, we indicate the diagonal scale, okay? Now, let us see another one. Here, the length of this uh, RF is not given directly. You are given the distance between two cities, Delhi and Agra, as 200 kilometers. Uh, railway map represented by five centimeter long line. This 200 kilometers is being represented by five centimeters. So let us find the RF here. RF is five centimeters divided by 200 kilometers. Convert this into centimeters. That is kilometers into thousand meters into hundred centimeters. So this is the RF. Maximum length given here, right? Maximum length of 600 kilometers. So taken length of the scale RF into maximum length. Convert this also into centimeters. 15 centimeters is the length of the scale. Now let's take uh, 15 centimeters, right? 15 centimeters here and uh, draw, construct a rectangle. 
And let's divide this into, because this is representing 600 kilometers, let's divide this into six parts, right? Each one is uh, indicating, right, 100 kilometers. So this is representing 100 kilometers. Now the left unit also, we have written kilometers here. Left side, this is 100 kilometers. Divide this into 10 equal parts, 10 equal parts, and uh, each division is showing, me measuring 10 kilometers. Okay. Now this is the kilometers, and uh, here also left side kilometers, but one tenth of this uh, unit is shown here. So let's construct uh, a diagonal scale showing uh, one kilometer also. 10 kilometers we are able to show. Let us show one kilometer here. How? Take a vertical line and on this, how many divisions? We want one tenth of this length. So take 10 divisions here. So take 10 divisions here, draw horizontal lines, take the first division here, first point, and join this with zero. Like this, you mark all the points here. Okay. So this is the diagonal scale showing hundreds of kilometers, tens of kilometers, and single kilometer also. Now, you are asked to show different lengths, 222 kilometers. Let us see, 200, right? Let take 200 here, and 22 here, 10, 20, 22, okay? So take draw a line here, and this length represents 222 kilometers. Next, 338, 300, 30, 1, 2, 3, 30, 8. So on this, 8 kilometers. So this length gives 338 kilometers. 467, right? Next, 467, 400. 50, 60, 67, right? So draw a line here from here. So this 467. Next, 579. 500, we can take 500 also here, right? Direct 500. And uh, 79, 50, 60, 70. 79. So draw a point here, line. And uh, this distance indicates 579. Our scale can measure up to 600 kilometers. So this is 569. So like this, we show the dimensions also. Next. Let's take another example. RF is a given, right? Constructed diagonal scale to measure maximum distance of 50 meters. So maximum length is given, 50 meters. Find the length of the scale, RF into maximum length. Convert into centimeters. 12.5 centimeters is the length of the scale. So take a 12.5 centimeters length and construct the, because this is a 50 meters, let's divide this into five equal parts. That means when you divide this into five equal parts, each one represents 10 meters. Okay. So 10, 20, like this. Starting from 0 here, 10, 20 are marked. These are meters. Now, divide this left part into 10 equal parts, and that gives 1 meter, because this is uh, 10 meters. When you divide this into 10, this gives 1 meter. So, 5, 10. If you have space, you can mark 1, 2, 3 also like this. So, 5, 10, 10 meters are marked. Now let's construct the diagonal scale by taking vertical lines here and uh, 10 divisions. That means we are going to divide this one meter also into one, 10 parts. We want one tenth of this division. This is one meter. So when you divide this into 10 equal parts, right? You get one tenth of this. That is nothing but 0.1 meter. Okay, now, so here, constructed the diagonal scale, 
joined this uh, corresponding to this first point we have a point here so join this point 1 with the 0 2 with the 1 like this so when you join all these points you get the diagonal scale now let's uh, get a 34.1 this side you get a 30 units 30 meters 30 okay and 4 1 2 3 4 4 here okay 434 Point 0.1, that is here, point 0.1. So, this length here indicates 34.1 meters. So, we are able to show the given length. And one more thing is uh, here, actually, you, you can show it as uh, point 0.1, point 0.2, like that. Okay? Or otherwise, you can uh, show it as uh, one-tenth of meters instead of meters, because this is uh, showing uh, uh, meters, and this is one tenth of it. You uh, you have to write not meters, just write one tenth of meter. Okay. So like this, we will be construct. You have constructed the diagonal scale. Another one, you take uh, uh, one is to one two point five is the RF. You have to show centimeters and millimeters. Maximum length is given. Let us see. One by two point five RF. Maximum length twenty five centimeters. And the length of the scale is 10 centimeters here. Now, let's draw a scale and uh, divide this into how many? You can divide this into 25 parts, but it will be cumbersome. So, to avoid that uh, confusion, we divide this into five equal parts. That means each will represent five centimeters. Each division represents five centimeters. So, mark the units here, 5 centimeters, 10, 15, 20, like this. So this division also represents 5 centimeters. Divide this into how many? 5 parts. Because we have to show only this is representing 5 centimeters. Let's divide this into 5 parts. That means each division represents 1 centimeter. Now, centimeters are shown here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we have to be careful. Always, it's not that uh, we can have to make uh, uh, 10 divisions always in the left side. It depends on the number of divisions you are, your uh, one division is. How many division, how many units this is. It depends on this. You will be marking the numbers. So, now, let's draw the diagonal scale. Now, I want a uh, millimeters. That means this is one centimeter. Millimeter means one tenth of one centimeter is millimeter. That means we will take uh, 10 divisions here on the vertical scale. So 10 points are marked here and uh, draw horizontal lines and uh, draw this uh, diagonal lines joining corresponding to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like this join the first point with the zero, second with one, like this. And here, this is nothing but one centimeter, right? This is one centimeter. Now, because we have taken 10 divisions, this small length here represents one tenth of this centimeter, that is nothing but one millimeter. So, we are able to show centimeters as well as millimeters on this scale. So, let us show 19.4. Here, we don't have 19 directly, right? Instead, you can take 15 meters here, 15 centimeters, right? Let's take 15 centimeters here. Mean additional, you have to show 4.4. So, let's take 4 centimeters here on this, 4 centimeters on the left side. On this, you take 0.4. Is that clear? Out my 19.5, 19 19.4 minus 15 is 4.4. So I am taking 4 centimeters here and another 0.4 from here 4, fourth division. So join, draw a line. This length now indicates 19.4 centimeters. So like this, we'll be constructing the 
diagonal scales. Okay. So we have some more interesting problems in uh, diagonal scales. And uh, let us see that in the next video. Hope you are you, you had understood this uh, topic very well. If you have any suggestions or queries, please do comment. Thank you very much.